next, it's a UFC flyweight division matchup. history inside these walls here in Newark, New Jersey. Good to have you with us live from the Prudential Center here tonight. I remember back in 2016, you, your boy Rumble Johnson had a big moment against Ryan Vader inside this I mean, Ryan Vader was so scared. He shot from halfway across the octagon, and Rumble beat him up within 20 seconds, and the people exploded. And that is the reaction you get when you are able to put on that type of performance in front of these knowledgeable fans. Oh, you can hear the flat from here as he lands another leg kick in D.C. Now we're seeing visible damage as that leg starts to redden up. And now you start to see the damage. And now you start to see the limping of the opponent. Watch as he gets kicked in the leg, he's turning away. He can't even get any pressure on his front leg anymore. He is beat up. That leg has been tenderized by this young man. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. And he landed the right hand there. Timing his shots nicely here, Chan. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Another big body kick land. I mean, look at the commitment of kicking. Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Oh, nice feet of the body for him there. Very nice. Caught that kick there. Big body kick. Oh, beautiful kick to the body there, and he just left himself wide open for that strike. Very vulnerable by leaning in, keeping the guard high to allow for an opening down low. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. All right, so a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He is kicking everywhere tonight. He's doing a fantastic job. It's such a fast leg kick. Watch knees to the body. So a combination of knees here. You don't see this all the time where a fighter will, will throw multiple knees, but if it's not broken, they'll fix it. There's no takedown threat. If there was a takedown threat, he would not be throwing so many knees. But there's no threat of getting taken down, so he is just letting those knees fly. Oh! Look at the finish now, because he's got to be hurt very fast. Oh! Wow! Oh, he might be out. Back to the feet. Knee to the body. Good series of knees by him there, working the head, working the body. He is going all over the place tonight. He is using that knee to really dictate where the fight takes place. Round two next. All right, round two. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Just missed with the elbow there. Switch the guard back to the right. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the belt. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Great punch. What a body kick. Nice offering there with the knee. He talked to us a lot about that on Thursday. Felt like the knees to be there. Oh! Knees hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. He went high on that one. Back and forth we go. An uppercut there. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got a pressure. He's got to go chase that finish down now. to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with his leg kick. Another leg kick land. Big powerful punch land. Now we get back to range. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right
So a huge win by TKO for him here tonight. A seminal moment in his UFC career. And that could hold up as one of the better TKOs of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliotta is going to stop to this contest at two minutes, 54 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO Russia. Well, there he is, the 